What's up? How you guys doing? Good? Okay, some of you guys are looking at me like you've never seen an Asian chick hold a microphone outside a karaoke night. What's happening? You know, karaoke and Hello Kitty. That's like crack to little Asian girls, right? Chaco. <laughs> I need you in my life. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited COVID's over, right? Oh my God, how awesome is that? Yeah, didn't COVID show us how nasty our favorite places were, right? <laughs> I went to my favorite restaurant after COVID. They have a sign up now. They're like, we're now cleaning. I'm like, oh great. <laughs> Shouldn't you have been doing that in the first place? <laughs> I feel like COVID changed the world, like not just the disease, but like the whole world, right? Like politically, socially, everything's different. My favorite post-COVID movement, stop Asian hate. I'm all, yeah, stay away from me, get away. <laughs> Some of the videos are horrifying, right? There'll be like a little Asian grandma like getting beat up. You're like, oh my God. But some of them are amazing. <laughs> I saw the Stop Asian Hate video. This little grandma, she's like walking around with her purse. These three guys come up to her. They try to beat her up and steal her purse. She pulls out a gun from her purse and shoots them. I'm all, hell yeah, Stop Asian Hate. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, first of all, if you're attacking Asians in America, you don't know anything about Asians, all right? <laughs> Any Asians in America because they were like hiding in the jungle, crawling through the desert, stabbing John McCain, right? <laughs> Throwing like ninja stars, right? Nunchucks, acrylic nail tips, like <laughs> back up. <laughs> Don't touch us. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I am, I am. Don't touch me. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's so different though. Like society is totally different now after COVID. Like we have woke people. Do you guys know about this? <laughs> yeah. So to be woke, it means to be socially progressive or aware. I try to be woke, but some people say they're woke in their sleep sleep. You guys know what I'm talking about? They're sleeping in the corner. I was performing at a show. This woke comedian came up to me, and he was like, uh, Rosie, I'm so sorry. I don't know if you know this, but you're not allowed to talk about Asian people anymore. Yeah, you're actually appropriating Asians for laughs, and that is offensive to Asian people. I'm like, uh, so I'm appropriating myself? Like, how does that work? If I offend myself, do I need to pay myself reparations? <laughs> if I masturbate, is it sexual assault? Like, how does this work, you idiot? Okay. So he was sleeping in the corner. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I had a tough COVID. I had a horrible COVID. My dad actually died during COVID, and now I have death PTSD. I know it's the worst. I know, it's the worst. I, have, I, have, I think everyone in my life is going to die now. I have a little 14-year-old miniature schnauzer. I stare at him every day. I'm all, please don't die on me. Please don't die on me. My husband goes, babe, 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 babe. We have a miniature schnauzer. If he dies, I'll just buy you another miniature schnauzer. You'll never know the difference. I'm all, oh, yeah, babe, 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 babe. And if you die, I'll just fuck some random white guy. I'll never know the difference. It's just all the same. Yeah. Can't even tell. That guy's getting laid. Let's do it. <laughs> It's like, what the heck kind of argument is that, right? It was great. This guy is getting excited. He has a half chub. He's like, this stripper is chatty. What's going on? <laughs> Why is this woman talking? What's happening? All right. <laughs> yeah, no, I, my, my dad did die. I'm not joking about this. It was horrible. It was horrible. And the worst is people, because they're just stupid. They'll just say stupid stuff. Like, I was talking about it, and this lady comes up to me after the show. So he died during COVID, but not from COVID, right? And then she's like, oh, my God. How did your dad die? Did he was he, like did he die from COVID? I'm like, no, he was just old. She's like, that's so sad. That's too bad. I'm like, are you upset he didn't die from COVID? Like, what the heck? <laughs> We're at the funeral home and we got him cremated. And the funeral director comes up to me and my sisters. He's like, I'm so sorry to bother you, but um, do you want to press the button? I'm all to set him on fire. I felt like I was on an episode of House of Dragon. I was like, Dracarys. <laughs> all right. <laughs> couple dark people in the room. All right. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. My dad is laughing in heaven, I swear. <laughs> I love it. I was making fun of my hubby. I love my hubby. He's awesome, but he is. Anyone here married? Clap if you're married. A few people. A few people. All right. Does your hubby ever wake you up in the middle of the night for sex? Oh, sure. oh my God. What the heck? Guys, don't do that. She's like, oh, sure. We need our beauty sleep. I'm middle-aged. Right? I need to preserve this face. My hubby will wake me up in the middle of the night with the little poke poke. Right? Oh, she's like, yeah, I know about that. <laughs> it's the worst. I turn into the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin, right? I'm like, who disturbs my slumber? <laughs> she's like, it's I, Andrew, your humble husband. I'm like, only one may enter. The diamond in the rough. Okay, it's you, babe. Come on in. 
All right, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Rosie Tran.